Well, whenever we use our mobile phones, our laptops, or our smartwatches, it has a considerable ecological footprint from the moment we buy it until we inevitably get a new model. But all the emails, pictures, and videos that we post online have their effect on the planet as well. And all of that is known as digital pollution. Well, to talk a bit more about that with me now, I'm joined on the set by the CEO of Digital for the Planet, Ines Leonarduzzi. Ines, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. So let's just start with the internet, with our emails. How are they polluting the planet? Actually, um, the digital um, consumes energy. They need electricity to work and uh, for essentially fossil energy. So each time you send an email, uh, each time you make a Google request, you generate CO2. So nobody knows it. So now uh, this uh, knowledge is um, going uh, to be known by uh, most of the citizens, but actually is is very unknown and and uh, we have to to raise awareness about this uh, so uh, for example when you send an email just a simple email is like if you s let a light bulb uh, for one hour turn on uh, if you uh, make a google request you will uh, you generate five gram of co2 so you just multiply it by the number of uh, people on internet using their email all day long. Uh, so we have to create awareness and democratize this topic and to create a more sustainable and altruist um, digital, actually. So what does that mean exactly, or concretely now? What should people be doing? Should we not be downloading any more apps? Actually, we are, um, so I am the CEO of Digital for the Planet, which is the first global initiative worldwide on the topic. And what we do is not denigrate digital. We want to initiate its future. So we go toward technology either way. So we have to go, but we have to go there with um, more uh, altruism. So what we do is first raise awareness and democratize topics. So if you want to create a new market, more altruist, you have to make people aware of what it depends on. Um, and the second thing is to create new technology, but technology um, uh, focused on uh, sustainability. But when I say sustainability is planet preservation, of course, the atmosphere and climate change and be aware of all that those takes. But it also uh, the condition of human work. Because when you develop uh, technology, you need uh, rare metal, for example. So it's in Congo, in uh, uh, Ghana, is in Bolivia or uh, in um, Mongolia. And um, you extract some metal over there, but there is no governance for the way people work there and uh, on the full... Um, ignorance of the world. So you have many kind of pollution, of digital pollution. This is human, um, climatic, and also uh, um, in terms of, um, of, uh, of uh, planet preservation. And if we go to our digital for creation of technology, creation of technology again and again, we miss the whole point is what's the point of progress if humans do not progress? Well, a big issue as well is a lot of these manufacturers are actually playing a role. I mean, there's something called planned obsolescence when certain smartphones, for example, are made just to last for a certain amount of time. How big of a problem is that pushing us to buy more and more? Yeah, this is this is the problem. Uh, everybody's talking about climate change. I would like to talk about uh, human behavior change. I mean, if you want to make a real impact on, on, on the way the planet is turning on, we have to first um, think about the way we consume, the way we behave. And definitely uh, the, the, the answer is not uh, let's stop uh, buying technologies and, and stuff. The, the, the question is how we can uh, consume better, uh, not more. And uh, there is a whole story about um, compensation, but also circularity, how we can create new economic model with uh, circularity in numeric, in digital. This is the question um, I am upon with, uh, for example, the French government, also um, corporate institution right now. We are trying to elaborate new um, economic model in terms of numeric circularity, because we need that definitely, so to use better than to use more. So that sounds like those are bigger themes, dealing with governments, dealing with big companies. What about, again, day-to-day, -day, what our viewers can do on a day-to-day -day basis to help? Definitely, citizens can make 
a lot uh, by their individual use. For example, you can turn off uh, notification you don't need. You can um, um, suppress some uh, apps you don't need either. Uh, just to be conscious, when you send an email to 30 people with a big attachment, uh, it's polluting. So do I need to send this email to so many people on my company, for example? Also, um, when we are looking for a seat web address on Google, but you know the address, so you can directly put it on the um, uh, address bar. Directly, you consume less. So you have many uh, tips we have on our blog, so Digital for the Planet, and you have like the nine uh, good behavior uh, to um, be digitally um, sustainable. Uh, you can do every day at work, at home, to, um, also for your kids. I mean, it's very easy to have an impact individually. Ines, thank you so much thank for you those very tips. Much, so Ines Leonarduzzi, the CEO of Digital for the Planet. Thank, thank you so you. much for your work. Uh,